Welcome to footballgameplan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook. Bring you our collegesportingnews.com game of the week preview between the Whopper Terriers and the Citadel Bulldogs. Now let's take a look at some keys to victory for both teams, starting with the Terriers. When you look at Wofford in this ball game, there were some good things that you could take away from last week's game versus Baylor. Number one, assignment-wise, they were where they were supposed to be. They just didn't make the play. That has to change this week versus the Citadel, and they have to hit the reset button, burn the tape, forget about what happened last week versus the Bears. This is a new game, conference opponent. You got to take care of business on the road. Now let's move over to the Citadel in this ball game, and I came away impressed overall with the talent up front for the Bulldogs on that offensive line. And when you look at quarterbacks Ben Dupree and Aaron Miller, they're a two quarterback system that actually complement each other very well. But the running back Darian Robinson, in my opinion, is the real engine to this offense. Now on the defense side of football, communication is key. They're gonna have to communicate a lot better this week than they did last week versus Charleston Southern if they wanna have some success. The X factor in this game for the Whopper Terriers will be their third down offense. Can he consistently move the chains and stay on the field? Those long sustained drives kill the will of a defense and you need that, especially playing on a road versus a conference opponent. And the X factor for the Citadel Bulldogs will be that run defense. That's something that struggled last week versus Charleston Southern. They gotta do a better job in slowing down the rushing attack. And if they can't do that, Whopper can easily win this ball game. Now here are some coaching points for both teams in this matchup. Starting with the Terriers, they have to play fast. They didn't play fast last week versus Baylor. They looked slow. They looked like they were thinking out there. They gotta play fast on both sides of the ball. And they have to force the issue defensively, get after the quarterback, put a lot of pressure on that Citadel Bulldog offense so you can have a chance. And they have to play winning special teams. You have to make the Citadel drive the length of the field. I look at punter Casey Redfawn being a big part of what they want to do in that aspect of the game. And for the Citadel Bulldogs at the tie-up loose ends, two big miscommunications on the defensive side of the football caused this team to lose that ball game as well as the penalties and also the turnovers. And the secondary can't fall asleep. That ties right back into the first point. And remember, you're playing an option football team. They are an option ball team themselves. Alignment and assignment can lead you to victory versus a team like Wofford. Now here are some 2014 draft prospects you want to watch out for in this ball game. For Wofford, you look at the center, Jared Singleton. He's the key cog in that option attack, 6'2", 320-pound senior. And for the Citadel, you look at the running back situation they had back there. Darian Robinson is a guy that's a load to bring down, definitely has the running skills you want. And Ben Dupree is a quarterback, but in my opinion, will probably be better suited as a wide receiver or a third down back at the next level. Does a great job with the football in his hands. Before Jerry Richardson was running the show for the Carolina Panthers, he was an All-American wide receiver, two-time All-American at Wofford from 1955 to 1958, and still owns the school record for most receiving yards in a game with 241 versus Newberry. Lester Smith was an outstanding safety for the Citadel Bulldogs from 1989 to 1992. He was also a two-time All-American after his Bulldog career was over, did a lot of great things up north in the CFL. I like the Bulldogs in this ball game. I look at what they do well offensively. They can spread you out and they're more explosive in their option attack than Wofford is. And their defense is a lot better. Wofford is a young football team. And right now, I think Citadel last week was the aberration. They got the wake up call. Look for them to knock off the Terriers this week at home.